Greetings and salutations everyone, Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we defeated Phantom Ganon, and we also learned that we are indeed Hylian, not Kokiri. In this episode, how about we go back to Long Long Ranch? It's been seven years, I mean, I'm probably something has happened, so let's go. Man, we really ha- I mean, we haven't been here since the beginning of the game. I wonder how Epona's doing. I wonder how Malone and Talon are doing. Hmm. So many questions yet to be answered. But they s will soon enough. Welcome back to Long Long Ranch! I almost said to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, I already did that. Well, the tree's gone. Cuckoo, I mean, cuckoos are everywhere when... Uh, there are all these horses here. There's some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my, um, uh, my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. Wow. So, uh, this is a predicament. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Sh uh, hmm, let's not ride. All right, then I all right then scram you little punk. All right, let's actually do. I right, let's actually ride. Uh, I know how to ride. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's find Epona. Ah, but first let's actually get my ocarina on the. Oh, whoops. Let's actually get my ocarina, and then let's get. Her song ready. Let's see. Epona song! Read it and weep, Ingo. Epona! Come here, girl. Oh, wait. You're Epona, right? Yay, we're riding Epona! Hey buddy. When you want to dismount, stop and press the A button. Hey young man, do you know I just felt... Uh, I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you ready to go home so soon? Uh, no, I want to ride. Okay, so there's actually something I want to do here. Because in the future, obviously, we, um. Obviously, Epona is under a different ownership. So, in the future, we actually are given the task, but not told outright, that we are actually here to save the ranch, essentially. Hey, time's up, young man. You only paid ten rupees. You pl I mean, you played around long enough. Okay. 
Don't ride. Hmm. Don't exactly remember how to uh, save the. Well, I know how to save the ranch. I just don't remember how to trigger it. But really, what we're supposed to do is actually we're supposed to race Ingo in a. Well, obviously in a race. And if we win, then pretty much we get to take Epona with us, which is a rather good thing. Let's see what's in here. Nothing really. Oh, look at that! Haha, <laughs> now I can pay for another ride. Okay, um... Let's check this out. Stable looks pretty normal. Oh, a visitor! It's been a long time since we've had a visitor here. Why, where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in the, uh, in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined, and monsters are, wa are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. If I disobey Mr. Ang uh, Mr. Ingo, he will treat the horses so badly. So, there's nothing I can do. I will save the ranch. And yes, this is Malone. She looks pretty good. Seven years have done her some pretty good, uh... Well, seven years have done her well. I have done her some good. Hmm. How am I supposed to shit? How am I supposed to trigger the race? I don't remember. Uh, am I supposed to talk to Malon again or what? Uh, sure. Let's go talk to her again. Okay, apparently she gives us no new information. Maybe I'm supposed to ride Epona and then talk to Ingo again. Let's try that. Wait a minute. Hmm. I'm just trying something. Okay, let's try this again. Epona! Come hither! Here's Epona. Okay. Okay, now we can start racing him. Make a little tiny wager. You want to stay on the inside of the track as much as possible. Come on, carrots, refill, refill, come on. Yeah! And we beat him! Shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about- I found out about this humiliation! Hey you! How about another race? If I win... If you win, uh, you can keep the horse! Okay, let's go for it. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Okay. I think I did it, maybe, hopefully, yes. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it in a, I but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As promised, I'll give you the horse. I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Well, way to be a sore loser. However, I'm gonna show him what a boss horse rider does. Let's do this. Pia! Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> Not so much. Okay, so we have one Epona. We have technically kind of helped fix the ranch. Let's go! Darn it. We're supposed to jump over the fence in awesome cowboy western action. What are we. What is this? Red Dead Redemption? I don't know, I never even played the game. Let's talk to him. Ah ha ha! Uh, and he just says the exact same thing. I'm gonna get out of here sooner or later. You best check yourself before you wreck yourself, Mr. Ingo. Ah! Uh, I can- I can do this! Ugh, I don't want to talk to you. Apparently I can't skip it. Okay, let's let's just ride around the ranch just for a second. And that horse is practically going through the fence. Gonna build up some speed here. Okay, let's go. Come on, Yipona! Ride! Ride like the wind! Nope. I can do this, I swear. I can do this. It's just a matter of, well, doing it correctly. <laughs> Bam! Huzzah! And now we can ride around Epona in Hyrule Field. This will make travel a lot easier. Because now we can actually go faster than Link could ever run. So that's rather nice. Oh. And with this, uh, with the ability to ride Epona, we are now given a new side quest, which is hunting down ten Poes while on Epona's back. But I'll save that for another time. Right now, I want to go back to the um, to the Temple of Time, or the Light Temple, whichever one it may be, one or the other, or even both. Get out of here, Redeads. Wow, I can't believe that most of the episode was pretty much me just screwing around in Long Long Ranch and also not realizing what the heck I was supposed to do. Nice. Hey, Sheik. Wait, were you waiting the, here the entire time? You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even powerful, uh, even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you can, uh, and you will travel back in time seven years. 
The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when you, that time comes. The song to return to your uh, to the, the the song to return you to the temple of time, the prelude of light. and we have learned the prelude of light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Nero, we shall meet again. Whoa, shiny light of lightness. So let's do as Sheik says and return the uh, Master Sword back to the Pedestal of Time. And lo and behold, we traveled back in time. Back to a simpler time. Back seven years. So, I didn't really explain this when we got the Minuet, or yeah, the Minuet of Forest, but in the second half of the game, all of the songs that we learn, which would be down here on the bottom uh, row, all have to do with transporting us. The Minuet of Forest will transport us to right outside of the Forest Temple. Oh, whoops. And the Prelude of Light will transport us right here, back into the Temple of Time. If you ever see one of these uh, platforms, these uh, hexagonal platforms with the Triforce on it, and then a, uh, a little design inside the Triforce, well, then that's, a, uh, that's, a, uh, that's the place that you'll actually end up when you use one of the songs. And the little tiny designs, if you look closely, you'll actually realize that they are actually the designs on each one of the medallions, which is very, very cool. So there's one thing I want to do, or there's a lot of things that we want to do, but there's one thing in particular now that I, since we're still on the subject of Long Long Ranch, and that would be to go back to Long Long Ranch. Because there's still one more Skullchilla that I have yet to get. Oh, wait. Right, uh... No. There we go. Play the Sung Song. I mean, the Sun... Song. Yeah. Okay, back in Hyrule Field. So, yes. Now that we are back as Child Link, there are a few, th and there are a lot of things that we can actually do, such as use some of our, uh, some of our items that we have yet to use to get past some old, uh, some stuff that plagued us as a child. And by plagued, I mean we couldn't do them uh, at certain points, such as as soon as I turn it to nighttime. If I would actually get the song right. <laughs> if you remember, there was a golden skull chilla here on the ranch that I couldn't get. However, now that we have the boomerang, I can get it. Okay. Not what I wanted. You know what, forget it, I'm just gonna use my slingshot to administer the final blow. 
And there we go. Another golden scalchula. Now let's see. Um I'm gonna make one more trip to Kakariko Forest, and then I think that'll be the end of the episode. So let's use the Minuet of Forest to actually make it over even quicker. Let's see. A up left right left right. And whenever we play a song that can teleport us, we are given the option of if we want to teleport there or not. See? And here we are, back in, uh, back outside of the forest temple. I'll take as much damage from these Deku Scrubs as I want. Because what I really want is actually to get some more fairies. <laughs> Geronimo! Let's equip some bottles. And get ourselves some fairies. Okay! Let's make our way back to the entrance of the Lost Woods. Now, one of the things I want to do is actually to come back into the Lost Woods. Come over here. Stand on here, and there's this skull kid here. But if we play Saria Song, uh, which no, uh, man, I am horrible at memorizing these songs. <clears throat> Saria Song. Nah. There we go. You know sorry of song. We should be friends. Here, take this. Yay, a piece of heart. Now we can actually talk to him. Hi, do you think my face is kind of plain? It's just not very unusual. Hmm. If you want something unusual, then here, try this mask. <laughs> Under that mask, aren't you that Kokiri kid? Actually, I'm Hylian. Quite an unusual mask you have there. <laughs> I like it. It may make me look a little It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Okay. How do you even pronounce that? Ya Yauza? Oh, yeah. Yauza! That's it. Duh. I'm gonna wear this all the time. He just gave you 10. I, he just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money in the deal. Go back to the happy mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your own pocket. Well, aren't you a jerk? So yeah, that was one of the things I wanted to take care of, but I think that'll be enough for today. So in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're gonna do some more little, I mean just little things back here in the past. So until then everyone, fare thee well. <laughs>